My name's Guy Kestivan. For the past 21 years, I've been a professional mountain bike tester. And right now, there are three things in this van that absolutely love single track. Me, Tilly the Spaniel, and the Chameleon. No, not that Chameleon. The brand new Santa Cruz Chameleon C. All new, all carbon, trail hardtail. Come on then, Tilly, let's go. What do you need to know about this carbon Chameleon? Well, first clue, <laughs> it's carbon. Uh, obviously, Santa Cruz do a couple of different levels of carbon. This is carbon C, so the more affordable of the uh, fibre specs. And there's no plans currently to do a CC version, but you're still saving 535 grams on this carbon version compared to the Alloy Chameleon. It's only 300 grams heavier than the highball race bike, which when you consider this is deliberately built, kind of number eight, if you're English or linebacker for our American friends, tough, then 900 gram frame weight is uh, pretty good for a trail hardtail. Complete bike in this SE spec with the reserve 27 carbon wheels, 11.6 kilos. So if you are looking for a significant upgrade for Chameleon in terms of weight lost and speed gained, then this is exactly where to find it. The back through there is impeccable. They literally just come out of a sleet storm. So these routes are about as sketchy as you can get. But <laughs> just that precision through that front end. It's awesome. <laughs> and then the punch through the pedals of that lost weight. So clear. Whew. This thing is a firecracker. So apart from that 535 gram weight loss, it's very little change in terms of geometry. It's very much a case of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And since it's the most popular comedian Santa Cruz have ever made, why would they? 67 and a half degree head angle with a 120mm fork, this is a default fork. We'll take a 140. 73 degree seat angle, which is why it's better with the 120. It's gonna be pretty slack with a 140 or something in there. Super short. Chain stays, 460mm reach. Coming up a 640mm top tube. So this bike is agile rather than some slacked out new school barge. This thing is meant to pop and play and just get chucked around the trail. Um, blimey, does it love doing that. Comparing the carbon layup to the highball C, it's actually very similar in terms of composition. But the Santa Cruz engineers have just gone with a much bigger tube size to get that stiffness and that punchy power delivery that just makes it so alive through the pedals. I mean, normally I don't even film going uphill because it looks a bit dead. But I'm pretty confident that this will be snaking around and shifting fast enough to make it look pretty dynamic. <laughs> See Tilly breathing heavily. Trying to keep up and that doesn't often happen. So while it is expensive in its SE build, it's great to have a hardtail. It really delivers on that lightweight potential and promise that a hardtail should give you. But so many recently, whether they've been steel or just sturdy alloy, have been like properly weighty wagons. But this is just alive in every way. But it's still prepared to fully commit to turns and steeps. Nose in, skipping the back wheel round. <laughs> and it's got all the practical details that have made the Alloy Chameleon so popular. It's got those swinging rear dropouts that can also be swapped for a 142 if you're running a single speed hub. Or just changeable chainstay length. So you can put a 2.8 27.5 in there or a 29 by 2.5. It comes with two 25s, cross mark on the back. So Pretty rapid tyre spec, but that suits it so well, because this is a little ripper. And if you think of it, it's kind of a hardtail tall boy. You're getting it pretty right, because it's way more capable and characterful than you think for 120 mil. And look at the way it carries speed up here. <laughs> Come on. Come on, comedian. Give me it. Give. Me. It. 
You've got externally threaded bottom bracket. You've got internally rooted cables, fully sleeved. So it's really easy to slip your lines in there when you're building it up, if you're going for a frame build. And a full, unlimited, lifetime warranty. Just like Santa Cruz's carbon reserve wheels. And remember, they built a carbon trials bike for Danny McCaskill. So these guys know their fiber and they only work with the best factories to get it made as well as having their own in-house development lab so when it comes to fiber these guys are not fooling around and the reserve wheels on this se version are just such a good match again not the lightest carbon wheels but the ride feel is beautiful just forgiving enough to float stuff, take the sting out of it, so you're not gonna have blown up hands, smash shoulders as soon as you try chasing full sus bikes. But precise and well damped enough to really add significant amount of control. And that's exactly the vibe I'm getting from this carbon chameleon. This just wants to play, play hard, play fast but play all day. If you're not worrying about shocks or bearings or bushings or damping, it's got totally sorted Fox Performance fork up front and you're just going. Whether you're doing big backcountry epics or just lighting up in local woods for an hour before it gets really dark. We had a load of people on the first Chameleon video asking whether it was a raceable bike and to be fair, the other one Probably a bit heavy, but, and this certainly isn't a race bike light. You do want the high ball if you want to go super light, but in terms of power delivery and urgency and natural pace, your idea of racing is to turn up in baggy shorts and a peak down with it. Rather than peakless in a skin suit, then hell yeah, stick a number on and have fun wherever you are in the pack. I mean, obviously ride feel is a big aspect of why the Chameleon is so popular. Super forgiving for an ally hardtail. And Santa Cruz have worked really hard to replicate that same character and feel on the Chameleon Sea. And the faster you go, the more you feel that life, that resilience, really letting you pump and flow through really start bump sections like this just urging you on all the time. Leave those brakes alone, ride light, and just keep flowing, keep going, on and on and on. Ha! This is exhausting, but in such a good way. And the handling, slightly sharper. A lot of trail hardtails these days, but <laughs> Tree clipping, tire slipping, suits the ride for this bike so well interesting talk to the us guys they're slightly skewed plus tire sales talk to the uk guys slightly more 29 sales i'd say 29 for speed plus for plush i'll get both and have two significantly different but totally engaging premium performance play hardtails because that's what this is it's a new category I've made up specially <laughs> just for this video. Performance play is what the chameleon really shows its true colors. <laughs> Woo! Come on, keep going. Oh, I didn't have Strava on. This thing is lit. In the same way that a really good brake or a well-tuned suspension damper gives you that kind of control that power and that accuracy to really drive hard with and really take the bike to the absolute edge. So does this back end in terms of traction, even with a semi-slick tire on, you can really squeeze maximum grip, precision and acceleration out of the bike. And you've got those three different underbelly mounts. So it's ready for basic bike packing work. But it's certainly got the strength and stability to handle proper backcountry adventures when Trust is an absolute essential and comes in two 
spec levels. You've got the basic, cost-effective, alloy wheel S spec. Then you've got this carbon wheel. Still not crazy premium, but just totally trail sorted. Carbon cranked, eagle geared SE spec with these superb reserve carbon wheels. What are we saying in summary? Yes, it's pricey. It's got Santa Cruz written on it. What do you expect? But in terms of this bike, it buys you brilliant feel, precision, but with that element of playfulness. So you can take it across the sketchiest route spread at full sub speed without probably dying. Woo -ha -ha. Tuck those bars in, get it round. Really enough forgiveness to let it carry speed, but still got that performance punch to push you out of corners and drive for every jump and hump. Dig yourself out of situations like that when your gear's too low. <laughs> but most of all, it's just a totally alive bike. Feels right for the very first pedal stroke or turn. That's why the Camellia has been so popular. Such a well-received bike, even if it isn't crazy radical. This, such a sweet ride. Takes a brilliant bike. <laughs> Makes it sharper, lighter, faster. Pricey, not the lightest, but if you're after massive amounts of fun in a premium package with tons of adjustability with the dropouts there, practicality with the threaded, drop, threaded bottom bracket there, you've got all this tire clearance options, whether you're running 29 2.5, or 27.5 by 2.8. Super tough wheels, these reserve carbon rims, you know, exclusive to Santa Cruz, lifetime warranty. You've got Hope Hubs at the center. You should have a Hope headset as well in there, color match. This isn't quite a complete spec, so I'm not gonna talk through it. But wheels, frame, geometry that's just superbly balanced and making the most of the latest kind of short travel agro forks like this fox 34 without taking away that urgency and that real kind of scruff of the neck seat of the pants pilot feel you'll never feel like a passenger on this bike this is just punchy trail pleasure gorgeous machine absolutely glorious i mean obviously the chameleon's a really important bike to me on the channel it was the first bike I ever did a live road review on and i watch that back now yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the first live ride review you did as well. We're not forgetting that, Tilly. Now, hush. Shh. Let me finish. Good girl. Obviously, super important for the channel, super important for Tilly. And it's just great. that It's, yeah, it's kind of fun to see a bike that, as my channel's grown, certainly the construction quality's gone up, that, you know, Chameleon's kept pace. 